fat or filler which is better for under eye hollowness now many patients come to us with something that we call as a tear trough deformity tear trough deformity or under eye hollowness is where there is a groove that has formed in the under eye region because of the loss of the fat or a very stressed look or a tired look of the eyes now this tear trough deformity can be corrected in its early phases by two techniques one is by using something called as fillers now fillers is a hyaluronic acid that we inject into this trough to give a smooth appearance of the under eye region and to refresh that area and get rid of the tired look now fillers procedure is an outpatient procedure that we do it hardly takes 10 to 15 minutes we put a cream first to numb that area and with the syringes we use the fillers to improve the under eye hollowness the thing with fillers is it lasts for about 9 months to 1 year at the maximum and you might require repeated procedures once that 9 months or 1 year is done we are very conservative in adding on to the filler because we have to take care of the natural look of the patient and that's why we do very minimalistic filler injections but still you might require a repeat touch up procedure after 9 months or 1 year now another procedure which is a bit more permanent procedure is something called as fat grafting fat grafting is where we borrow some fat from either your tummy or thighs process it and then inject it into the same area just like a filler injection now the advantage of the fat is that it is your own tissue so very less chances of infection or any other side effects plus it is almost a permanent procedure so once we deposit the fat it is done and you don't need any repeated procedures but the disadvantage of the fat is that it's slightly more invasive procedure for example in filler we just inject it directly but in a fat we'll have to borrow fat from your tummy and then process it and then inject it sometimes our fat grafting patients require a repeat procedure maybe 6 months after as a second procedure and that's it and it's usually a permanent result that you get after fat grafting so both fillers and fat grafting are options for under eye hollowness we discuss with you beforehand and once you choose which procedure you want we go ahead with that